Howdy all and Wugalax Lives. I think it's time we play a little Minecraft. Alright. Uh, so you're going to notice that uh, we're uh, we're not on my server, or my uh, single player game. Uh, we're actually hanging out for a month on the multiplayer server. Uh, I don't think anybody else is on. Um, but... Uh, uh, it's a special anniversary, 1200 stream a day anniversary, up for one month server with uh, the gaming group I play with, uh, Mr. M. Fretwell's 1200 stream a day, and um, special exclusive, exclusive, I don't know, private, private, there we go, server, uh, that he's going to have up just for the month, so I am taking a break from my single player um, my plan is hopefully to get on here more often than I do for my single player because it's a special thing. We'll see. Um, I find it really hard to do stuff like this because there's so much going on. Oh god, I couldn't remember if potatoes were worth eating or not. Uh, but uh, I I didn't get a lot done. I, I got confused. Well, I don't know why I got confused. I got... Not confused, I forgot, I talked about, but then I forgot the fact that there is, <laughs> wow, there's a cave, like, right here, that's crazy. Um, I forgot that there was uh, concrete, and so when I started my build, I, uh, I, instead of doing concrete, I raced the nether to get, that's interesting to get um, weird is this an auto fisher yeah it must be an auto fisher of some kind I've never really worked with those um, But uh, my plan, my plan was to run down and get this stuff and then get uh, the nether portal built, which I did. There's the nether portal I built. And then to, um, oh hey, I didn't notice they got the torch grid down. And then uh, uh, I was going to go mine up a bunch of quartz because I wanted white. I, I knew bone meal would give me uh, off-white color, but I wanted white. And uh, and then I go and I gather all this quartz and then I get like 20 blocks. And 20 blocks is like such a minuscule amount for what I'm doing. Uh, does that look like there's something over there? Is that just... There's so many reeds, man. Somebody went crazy with the reeds. Um, this is Fred's house. Uh, I don't know what he's doing with his little farm there, but... Uh, he built some nice things. I uh I know he's got the nice little mine shaft going down here. Uh reminiscent of what he built on the Hidden Secrets one. Uh house is a lot different though. And uh Hidden Secrets is the original server I joined him on and then um he shut that down and uh so, uh, we haven't really done a lot of Minecraft together in a while. This is, uh, this is the, uh, I had a couple diamonds left over, so I built an enchanting table. I see that they've got a nice little, I don't know, like a seating area here? I don't know what's going on here. For, um, for the enchanting area. Uh... I am building right here. Uh, looks like I could get some more dirt going underneath here to fill some stuff in. But uh, what I was doing was I was building with all this white, and I'm like, oh, I need quartz, right? And let me tell you what, it was way easier to get some 
to get some bone meal together and make a bunch of concrete than it is to get quartz like that. Uh, that was not fun at all. Uh, so this is uh, this is the start of my planned build. Uh, I it's got nothing to do with fret, but uh, or hidden seekers or anything. But I was like, oh man, he wants me to play on here. I gotta have something to build. What am I gonna build? What am I gonna build? I am gonna build the SDF one. That is my plan. Uh, the SDF one is from a an old anime called Robotech. It's the super is it super dimensional fortress um which was originally the SDF came from uh Robotech is a weird anime. Um I mean most anime are weird, but Robotech is exceptionally un not unique but uh rare. Let's put it that way. Uh in that it's not a real thing for part of it or all of it and it's kind of like Power Rangers, right? So if you know anything about Power Rangers, you know Power Rangers comes from a different television show. And uh and so you know, Power Rangers in its original form is something else. Uh, I don't remember exactly what show Power Rangers comes from. But Power Rangers does come from a Japanese television show, or several Japanese television shows, uh, over the years. And, uh, they, uh, mm, you know, I lit all this place up. I really need bones. I need some dark caves to go hunting in. Oh. Oh my. That looks suspiciously like a grinder, or not a grinder, a spawner. Oh, it's the wrong kind! It's a gross spider spawner. Knock me around, spider. Okay, where'd that one go? Alright, let's get some torches on this guy. Shut him down. No spider spawns for you. Let's see what we got. Ooh, there's bones. Got some bones. We don't need any seeds of any kind. I definitely don't need a record. I'll take this golden apple, though. Uh, I'll take the iron. I don't need the iron bucket. I'll take another golden apple. I don't need gunpowder. Oh, and then this doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> and, um, so... Robotech is like that. Robotech is originally... Um, originally a show called... Macross, or Macros. I'm never sure how to pronounce that. One of these days I'm gonna learn. Uh, I usually call it Macross, and uh, um, but they changed it, and so they took that, they cut it into pieces, they gave it new dialogue. I don't know why, but they did, and uh, and so they created Robotech. Now, Robotech for me uh, holds a special place in my heart. Uh, Robotech is the first the first anime I ever remember watching. Okay. I'm looking for actual tunnels to explore down in here because I need bones. Just gotta make sure I, uh, you know, as you see, I... Uh, okay, I heard you. I hear you. I don't like you, though. <laughs> nah, you suffocated. OK, 
Okay, that's the mine shaft everybody's been exploring. Uh, let's go up in here and see what we can find. So, um, so yeah, I uh, I remember I remember as a kid, um, which is a while ago. Uh, we had a single. Ooh, we had a. Oh, that's just right outside. Weird. It's weird that the that the shaft is so close, and there's just ocean right there. Um, we had a single. A s single. We didn't have a single. We had. <laughs> I was gonna say we had a single television channel. No, we uh we only had like three television channels, and um. So, I, I mean, there was PBS, which was a thing, right? I I think that's still a thing. I haven't watched it in years, but well, somebody was down through here. Oh, it was me, because I looted this. That's where I got the diamonds for the... For the um, uh, enchanting bench. It's going to say crafting bench, but that's not right. Around the corner, dirty skeleton. It's okay. That's what I need. More dirty skeletons, the better. The ability to aim. That's what I need. And uh, so, um, it was like ABC, NBC, CBS, and PBS, and that was it. And then somewhere in there, I remember they started a Christian station. Um, that we could get because we just had a, a analog aerial, right? I mean, digital didn't exist. There wasn't. Uh, there was satellite television, but satellite television was different than it is now, and uh, it was. It was. Uh, you had to park a satellite dish in your yard. Uh, I mean, the thing was massive. It was. Massive. That's, uh, I mean, we're talking like, like, uh oh. We're talking like trailer massive. <laughs> uh, and so you'd park this huge dish in your yard and, uh, uh, there'd be like you get a few channels one way and you get a few channels the other way and you'd have to change the position of your dish to uh, be able to pick up <laughs> the different stations you had access to and so we had that a couple of times when I was really young, but um, for the, well, not really young, but uh, I remember we got it and then um, uh, they didn't, l my parents didn't like what was being shown on it, so they got rid of it. Uh, we did that a couple of times. I, I don't know. Um, and, uh. And then you know, eventually came in with the the little dishes that is now the definition of dish TV, and so um, the anyway, so we only had those three channels, and they didn't have things like cartoons on in the afternoon, and so I remember getting up at like six a.m. on Saturdays because it was the only day they showed cartoons and watching cartoons until noon because they only showed it till till noon and then once you hit noon that was it there were no more then they swapped over to 
sports, and that's what my father kept the television on the whole time. Um, it's probably why I don't like to watch sports now, because that's all we were allowed to watch when I was a kid. And, uh, uh, and so, uh, like, and we only get three channels. I remember, I remember, because, you know, we didn't have things like, uh, they had them, we just didn't have them. Like VCRs, and, ooh, I found another spawner. And this one is weird, and appears to be a skeleton spawner. So I need... I need... Oh, man. I have the worst stuff on me here. Okay, first off, let's get some rock. I'm going to actually dig straight up here so that I can mark where this skeleton spawner is um, after I block it all off. And then I got to figure out how to make a spawn. I'm not going to block it all off. I'm just going to try to protect myself from that one skeleton I let through. Um, and uh, so... So, uh, and then, um, and then they came out with, uh, th or they brought a Fox network. I don't know when Fox started as a network, but a Fox station. And, um, so that Fox station was the first time, well, when it first started, all it did was showed movies, which is weird because movies were a rare thing. And, uh, like we would get together as a family to watch the, Saturday evening movie, um, you know, and uh, so I probably watched a lot of movies I wouldn't have uh, had I had options. I definitely would not have spent every March watching March Madness college football had I had options because I hate watching sports. Uh, and uh, but like I said, it's probably because. That's all we were allowed to watch when I was a kid. Okay, this is... I need... I don't have supplies on me. Dang it. I really need to... put some ladder stuff in here. Um... Yep, this is what I figured was going to happen. Oh, man. Hmm. Hello? Hello? I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I don't know where I'm at. Okay, let's... Hopefully I got enough. Yeah. Okay, and then we will mark this. And then I really need to do this. Uh, what is this? This is um, 58... 58, 17. Negative 58, whoops, negative 58, 17. Negative 58, 17. Negative 58, 17. Just making sure there wasn't something on there I shouldn't be showing. Negative 58, 17. I gotta remember those numbers because I'm gonna put down a sign when I find my way back home. Uh, and so, um, uh, I think we're just over here. I know they said there was a mesa biome nearby. I just don't know which direction was nearby. Um, but I do know they 
uh, Fret said that he had found the, the thing. So anyways, finish my story. Uh, and so eventually they started showing cartoons and um, they didn't show the cartoons I was used to. And uh, they showed things like Voltron and Transor Z and um, initially Robotech. And so I'm like just blown away because I'm used to things like Smurfs and maybe G.I. Joe, right? Uh, He-Man, Transformers. Transformers is probably the closest thing to Voltron, or not Voltron, Robotech. Uh, but Robotech was something different because people died in Robotech and like it didn't take long and whole groups of people died in Robotech and it had like a story and every every week the or not every week because it showed every day of the week that was another thing that was brand new uh and so every every uh every day the next episode was on and the next episode was the next part of the story and it wasn't like the cartoons that I was used to watching where every episode or maybe you might have a couple of related episodes but almost every episode was just a different uh you know a, just a different episode it wasn't it was a uh, episodic versus uh story and uh I think those are different <laughs> and so uh you know oh man it was a big deal uh to me and i loved that show and uh it's kind of corny now but um man back in the day i loved me some robotech and um i i i've mentioned many times that i grew up on a farm and uh i remember uh, for whatever reason, like, it was, it was a little bit, man, I do not know, I bet I could just go to zero, zero, right? That's gotta be, that's where I spawned in, so, uh, oh, look, I can see a house. I turned just enough, and now I can see somebody's house, and, um, Uh, and so it was, it was my jam. And I remember, uh, when my father decided that, uh, we were going to go with him to keep him company while he went to get some hay wagons from the field. And, uh, I was like, no, I don't want to go because Robotech is going to be on. And, uh, and he was like, no, no, we'll be back in time for your silly show. And, uh, we weren't, and I was very angry, um, because he, he didn't get it. The, he didn't, he didn't understand. It was a show with a storyline. And so missing, missing an episode, Matt, you missed part of the storyline and, uh, uh, and, you know, when it's on network television, uh, it is tricky <laughs> to, uh, man, I'm getting a little lag here. It is tricky to get your episodes back. Okay. Skeleton spawner. Uh, is at negative fifty eight seventeen. Awesome. Okay, and now with the bones I managed to collect here, uh, and so yeah, when uh. Oh man, I've got so much bone meal now. I guess I don't really need the skeleton spawner at the moment. I forgot how bone meal works. 
I feel like I'm probably going to have enough white here. Because the next color I'm going to need is blue. So I do have... Uh, I should have more than that. What did I do with all my lapis? Okay, let's go ahead and unload some things. I keep that. Unload these books. I should give those books to somebody who cares. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm going to try and make the SDF-1. It doesn't look too complicated, because uh, it was an 80s cartoon, so there's not a lot of moving parts to it. But uh, uh, I thought it would be fun. Okay, I don't know who did this, but you're right in my build area. Oh, I guess that one could have stayed. Um, okay, we've got to we got to check and make sure this works. Uh, usually, I yeah, okay, that works. Usually, I um, you know use my machine to turn it all into stuff, but uh, it looks like I'm going to have to water bucket cover this stuff. I'm going to need to get more dirt over here because I need more building room around the edges here. Uh, what I've got here is uh, the SDF. Uh, the SDF-1 is uh, the Super Dimensional Fortress Macros was its original name from the original cartoon that it was built off of, or anime that it was built off of. And so the SDF-1 is an alien uh, fighter carrier uh, that uh, launches the V-type fighter out of um, out of the inside of the aircraft carrier. It's basically an aircraft carrier. Uh, so like if you've seen Avengers and they had the uh, big helo carriers, right? Well, same concept, only minus the American military design. Um, and so the SDF-1 was an alien spacecraft that was discovered, and when they activated it, I think I was going to go five high with this. One, two, let me see if I can find the picture of it here. Yeah. Uh, I got to make sure I do this right. Um... Oh no, maybe I was only going to go three high. I might have only been going to three high with this part. Maybe four. Let's go four. Uh, and so the SDF-1 um, was this alien aircraft carrier, basically. Uh, it flies, though. It's a spaceship. It's uh, It's not... <laughs> it's not just, um, you know, an aircraft carrier that floats in water. It's a spaceship. And so when they activated it, when the humans figured it out and activated it, uh, this alien race called the Zentradi uh, realized who it was, or detected it. And so they launched um, an invasion fleet to Earth to... Um, collect the SDF-1 and uh, um, not that they not that they had any issue particularly with humans uh, they just wanted the technology of the SDF-1 uh, because whoever it came from um, this I think I think the Zentradi were dying. It's been a long time. Uh, I seem to remember something about how the Zentradi were dying and they needed the technology, but instead of discussing things, they tried to invade Earth. And the, um, the SDF-1... Uh, now here's where I knock out all your torches. Uh... That I'm gonna do a splash down over the sides here. 
because I'm going to make a huge mess. Um, and so uh, the SDF-1 had uh, warp drive and um, uh, the big thing about it, which is why it's being built the way it is, is that it transforms into a um, kind of like a robot. And, um, and so I am building the transformed kind into the robot shape. Uh, it's going to be pretty tall. These are just the feet right here. It's not going to be massively tall because it's not like human shape. Um, and so uh, what you're seeing, those are the rockets. Uh, I was trying to guess how big it was going to be, uh, how big I needed to make it based off of the size of the rockets. And so um, those uh, cobblestone parts inside are not going to be visible. Uh, and in fact, I was thinking I would probably uh, redo uh, a base inside of the feet uh, here so that I would have some place to call my home. Uh, the last time we did one of these, uh, I made a giant stegosaurus, which is my favorite dinosaur. And uh, so um, we'll see. <laughs> I can't wait because uh, I'm not going to be on when they log in and they're going to see that I have demolished. And the thing is, is I'm going to do it again and again and again. I guess I should build a, a water collection wall around the whole thing. I'm going to need more dirt for that, though. Um... But, uh, yeah, so the SDF uh, is going to be massive robot. I don't know if I'm going to face it Fret's way or this way. Uh, those are the legs. Um, they don't, they don't, they're not actually too far apart, um, so it's not going to be too massive. But uh, there are uh, four arms to it, and uh, so we got, it, uh, we got the feet part, and then... The legs will probably end up being about yay tall. Hey, man, this is all lit up. What are you doing here? I'm trying to guesstimate how tall this thing is going to be. Uh, it won't be so bad to build, though, because I can use concrete. Uh, I haven't done a build like this since they... Oh, I see what's going on. There's just... There's a dark spot over there that I didn't cause. All right, I might have caused it. I don't think I caused it, though. Okay, let me go sleep real quick, and then... My bed's over here. I'll make it daytime so they'll stop bothering me. Uh, so, yeah, so the legs will be probably about yay high, and then the body will be about yay high, and then there's a second set of arms that stick out, and the middle arms will stick out, and, uh, so it'll be pretty tall. Um, it, it doesn't have a lot of colors to it. It's mostly white, blue, and red. Um, and maybe a little, no, I think it's just white, blue, and red, because... Uh, there's actual blue that goes in um, after I get the next parts here in place. Uh, there's some white that goes up, and then I, I might do some gray. Uh, there's a lot of different colors to it. Uh, I mean, like, designs. There isn't a single necessary design. There's some yellow um, on this uh, image I'm looking at here might go in. Uh, there's yellow on it, yeah. So I need some yellow, some red, some blue, some white, um, some black, maybe. Uh, I think most of these show black. So once I get the, the white done, then on top of this white is a couple of rows of black, and then there's some white that sticks out 
around the sides and then above the black is a line of yellow and then above that is blue all the way to the to the body and then on the outside of that blue is white on part of it and so we gotta do that I gotta see a picture of the bottom to figure out where the rockets will go because I know there are more rockets on the bottom um, but uh, yeah it's uh, oh man <laughs> I love the, the Robotech it's the um, I was just thinking there's when it transforms the uh, part the uh, uh, launch bays are in the arms and then the the lower arms and then the upper arms are the uh, front cannons of the ship but uh, when it was on earth um, they they launched it into space with the um, with the faster than light drives uh, to get away from the Zentradi because they thought if they took the SDF-1 away from Zen the Zentradi it would uh, stop them from invading Earth and so they launched out to Pluto from inside the atmosphere and they actually took a huge chunk of the city with them and so they had to rescue the people um, uh, and I don't remember how they managed to rescue the people before they died from being in space but they did and um, and so after that it was always a big deal when they had to transform because they had to rebuild um, on some of the empty decks inside the ship they basically built a city and so when it would transform alarms would go off and like these big doors would seal down inside of it and uh, I just remember there was uh, the main pilot of one of the seasons like the main character uh, and this girl got trapped uh, behind one of the bulkheads that sealed when it transformed oh you know yeah I think the inside will will get it um, and uh, oh you know I was gonna I was gonna put down water protection walls I still gotta do that and um, so uh, yeah I just remember that being a big big to do was uh, transforming into the the robot shape because uh, people would get killed and crushed or blown out into space as the as the uh, SDF-1 would transform into its uh, uh, its robot form, Super Dimensional Fortress Macros, uh, I believe it was originally called. It's it's SDF-1. SDF stands for Super Dimensional Fortress. So it's kind of funny on some of these images I'm using as a guide. It says SDF-1 Super Dimensional Fortress because it's the SDF-1. The SDF stands for Super Dimensional Fortress. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that is uh, that is my plans for the next little bit here. Uh, I'm sure some of the other people will get some builds in. I I don't know where. Uh, like up here is, oh, yeah, here. Uh, up here is uh, Fitmit, who was on the Hidden Secret server with us. And somewhere, somewhere is uh, Eri, who is also on the server with us, but I have no idea he is gone so they they're building like little little um houses i'm building giant mech <laughs> all right with that click leave a like subscribe to your catch the next one i uh, will talk to you later